This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Even in an essentials class on Photoshop, I think it would be difficult not to stop and talk about two very powerful parts of the program, levels and curves. Levels and curves have been there since the beginning. Since the very first version of the program, they have been there. They manipulate color information in the channels, red, green, and blue, on a point-by-point -point basis. In the 20-plus years that Photoshop has been around, the interface to these has changed, but it hasn't changed what they do because they're working with the base information. Now, I have an image opened up already. I went ahead and did that. It is in your exercise files, and it's called Adjustment PSD. Go ahead and open that one up. This was taken on the top of the mountains behind Vail. We're kind of up there and it's getting late and it is cold and it's kind of time to get back down. So I shot this photograph the back of my brother-in-law, Charlie, against the sun. Now I actually like the photograph because it really looks cold and it really was cold that day. But what I'd like to do is maybe lighten up the area in the foreground without really kind of ruining too much of that sun area. Now we have a couple of ways that we can get to levels. We're going to start with levels. If we go up to the word image on the pull down menu, the old standard, been there forever, is adjustments, levels, here. Now it opens up the dialog box. Here's the problem. When you adjust an image from that area, you're doing destructive editing. It is actually changing the pixels in the image, and to me that's old hat. There are reasons why we use it, but in most cases it would be logical to use non-destructive editing. Let's cancel out of here. Two ways we can get it. We can click this half moon icon right down here, and we can go into levels this way, or we can do it from the new adjustments panel right here, slightly different than the way it looked in 5 and 5.5. Because if we click one here, there's levels, it creates the adjustment layer and it opens up the adjustment in the properties panel, which is new to six. The cool thing is, is if I begin moving things, I'm not doing destructive editing. It is non-destructive. Now, if we come up to this option here and click it, one of the options I've selected is auto select parameter. Now, what does that do? If you have that set, that means as soon as you come in to levels, this area is already selected for you. So if you're doing this by the numbers and you know the numbers, you don't have to click there to get it. It's already selected. I do like that feature because it allows me to make those changes quickly. Let's get out of here for a second. Let's actually drag that to the trash can. Start again. Let's close this for a second. My goal is to lighten the foreground without impacting that sun in that sky because that's light enough. Now that's where adjustment layer masks come in, which is very important. But the first thing to do, which is logical, is to make a selection of what you want to change. So if we come over here and pick up the magic wand tool, tell you what, no, pick up the quick selection tool. I think that might work faster. Come here and just click and begin dragging. Ain't it cool? That made a perfect selection of that area. Now I want to adjust Charlie in the foreground and not the sun. So I need to inverse the selection. So we go to select and go down to inverse. Now come over in either the half moon icon or up here, click the button. Photoshop creates a mask on the adjustment based on the selection, which means if I now come over here and begin moving, say, this one area, it will only impact that one area and leave the other area alone. We have talked about masks before, and they are a very important part in an adjustment layer, whether using levels or whatever, of controlling what you're doing. So we now have control over just that one area, courtesy of an adjustment layer and an adjustment layer mask. On to the next.